Hello and welcome back to Diamond Shaw with Shanta. Today we're going to be doing another unboxing. Um, this kit is from Diamond Art Club. Um, we're going to be unboxing the square kit. We can always tell by the square on the front of the box and the blue line. Today we're going to be unboxing My Inner Sanctuary um, by You May Art. Um, it is a um, 70 centimeter by 81 centimeter kit. This is a painting that I have been waiting for to come out. Um, I have all of the glass instrument series. I think that they're just some of the most beautiful painting. Let's get her open. Okay, so when you get a kit from Diamond Art Club, it comes with a, a small sticker. Um, some people put the sticker on the side of their kit, so when they store them, they know what they have. I use mine in my logbook. Um, it's, again, My Inner Sanctuary by You May Art, square-shaped diamond, and it's 70 centimeters by 81 centimeters, so it is a big one. Um, let's see what's in our two kit. I will show some items, but not all. The rest I will stick up on the screen. So we received a really pretty roll of washi tape, a bag of baggies, a yellow pen and squishy or pencil grip. And a really cute little seashell um, cover reminder. And also because this is a square kit, we get a pair of branded Diamond Art Club tweezers. So our canvas comes in a um, dust bag that says Diamond Art Club, do it makes you sparkle. I uh, like to keep my paintings in this bag. It helps protect your painting from, you know, just dust and anything that might get on it. This one's not opening up easy. <laughs> sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. This one I miss it, but the paint is still there. It's a real sturdy bag. Oh, holy color blocking. <laughs> oh, I have recently realized that I, I'm not a lover of color blocking. I, I just am not. I don't mind it in small spurts. So, to be honest, this paint is going to take me a while probably to get done. But... I really love this image. And sometimes you have to suffer through color blocking or confetti, depending on to have a um, painting that you really like and love. So I'm going to kind of try to zoom in to show you all the canvas. A place to sit these drills. I'm sorry for the glare. It's like a really dreary day. So I'm having trouble, you know, with the lighting. So if we zoom in, we can see the top of this canvas. It is all um, the same color. Not sure what the color is yet. Let me look. 3865. So pretty much all of this is 3865. 
like I said, I'm not a lover of a lot of color blocking, and this I would consider this a lot of color blocking. I've even been when I'm purchasing kits, I look at that and I'm like, uh, do I love this enough to do all this color blocking? But this one, I do. I love it that much, so it's okay. At least then, when you get down here, I'm sorry. When you get down to this part, you get a little bit of a break. You know what I'm saying? Then it starts kind of breaking up. Same thing on this side. It starts breaking up as you get down here. So let's just take a look at her piano. Just beautiful. I cannot play the piano. And then if you look, you see all the flowers. She's looking up in the air. So she's a really good player because she's not even looking at her fingers or music, from what I can tell. And then look, guys, it has fish in the piano. Oh, my goodness. I have wanted this painting. I saw it on UMA's um, website, and I was hoping this was going to get turned into a diamond painting. She has such beautiful art. It's a lot more than I hope that they turn into diamond paintings. Just so, to me, this is like water running down. Yeah. Her pretty flowery dress. It looks like it's tied around her neck and the ties are coming down the back. She's barefoot. She's playing barefoot. Those are the piano um, pedals. The leg of the piano. And then as you come down here, you get more, just more color blocking. But at least it's a swirl of a, of two different colors than just one. But it's still a lot, a lot of color blocking on the bottom. So like I said, this, this canvas would be a labor of love because I love the image. And with it being white, I like to make sure my drills are straight and perfect. Oh, the glare. Let me see if I can get rid of some of the glare. Poop. Where is it coming from? Is it coming from this side? No. Okay. Or this side. Let's see if that helps any. Uh, maybe a little bit. Again, I'm sorry for the glare, guys. I... It's really dreary today, so it's just a hard day to record, but I need to get some videos made. So let's take a look at the canvas. So with Diamond Art Club, you get a legend on the top left and the bottom right. Again, this paint has 59 colors. It has three ABs and three fairy dust. So three ABs and three fairy dust. Again, it's 70 centimeters by 81 centimeters. Um, so she's a, a big one. So let's take a look at the sticker sheet. And the sticker sheet, it gives us a really good image of the painting. Just beautiful. Um, you get um, the name of the painting, My Inner Sanctuary by Yume Art. You get a start and end date because um, I like to put this sticker in my logbook. It also gives you the painting's um, diamond um, shape and the dimensions. Um, now, with this painting, um, Diamond Art Club, they use um, letters, symbols, and numbers. Again, 59 colors. Um, this this is a sticker sheet, and the stickers are perforated, so it makes it easy um, for when you kit up. Okay. Now let's look at the drills. We have my inner sanctuary. The drills are labeled, so if you store your drills separate from your canvas, you know what belongs to what. Um, excuse me for the crinkling as I open up the drills.
So like I mentioned that the background is this color right here. Um, as you see, we, we have a ton of it. The other background color, which is this line, is 3756, um, which is this real pretty blue. So let me zoom in just a little bit. So this white and this blue is the major part of the background. And I think they're, look, they're gonna look really, really pretty together. A really light pastel blue. All right, so let's go through the diamonds. Let's just start with this row. Um, so we have 37, 56. Like I said, this is one of the background colors. And we have three bags on this strand. But then I have more. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bags. So we get ten bags of this color, um, 37.56 in total. Then we have 37.53. We get um, three bags of that. 37.52, two bags of that. And then 38.65, and we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 12 bags of 38.65. Then we have um, 754, 162, 598, um, 948, 159 and we get one, two, two bags of that. Then we have 160. And then this is the rest of the 3756. We end up with 10 bags of that. Okay, our next row. 3811, 3032, 931. Our first AB is 132, which is this real pretty orange color. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's pretty much just a standard drill with the iridescent coating on top that makes it shimmer. Very beautiful. 918, 915, 745, 3782, 3348, 3778. Um, this is our first fairy dust drill. And fairy dust drill is still kind of a standard drill, but it has this a, a mica, um, some mica glitter in it to make have a look of glitter. Hope you can see that in the screen. Thank you, Kevin. 758. Um, our next fairy dust is 961, which I bet is gonna go in those flowers on her dress. And then 3326. We have 738, another AB, 120, and then 3760. And this is our last little roll of stragglers. We have 150, 604, 301, 939, um, another AB, 124, um, 470, 3750, another fairy dust, which is 166. I think you can see the glitter real good in that one. 718, 989, 833, 986, 3607, 939, and then last but not least, 720. So let's, let me push these out the way and let's try to real quickly see where the AVs and the um, fair dust go. So I'm going to start with the fair dust. We have um, the pink fair dust, which is the letter E, um, which is kind of in her dress. Let me kind of zoom in. I see a little bit, it's right here. Here's just kind of dispersed in her dress, but it's not a whole ton of it though. 
but it's just in some spots here, 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 kind of lightly sprinkled in the all in the flowers of the dress here. And then let's see if it's in the flowers of her hair. Yes, there's a few in her hair, right here in the flowers in her hair. Also in the flowers here, all up through here. You don't see that? No, of course you can't see it. All up through here and here, all the flowers in there. Let me zoom out just a little bit. And then I bet it's some over here in these flowers as well. And it is. So E pretty much is just mixed all in these flowers. So our next fairy dust is 772. Oh, let me see if I find that at. Okay, I see it now. It is in the piano. So as you look, um, all these lines, not all of them, but all this area is the fair dust. Um, up through here is the fair dust, all kind of throughout with the mixed in here a little bit where the fish are. Up here. Up through here. So it's a this is a kind of a light green fairy dust, and it's all in the center of this piano, kind of mixed in. I don't see any of her dress or in the flowers in her hair. So our next A B is 166, which is the two dots. Okay, that is also in her dress. So everywhere where you see this yellow color, that is fairy dust. So all these little light yellowy colors is fairy dust in her dress. It is not in her in the flowers up here, but it is some here, all up in here. Um, let's see if it's any in the fish. Nope, I don't see any. Uh, I think that's it for that fairy dust. And then next we have um, our first AB, which is num the number one, um, which is a blue AB. Um, it's a small amount right here in her dress. A small amount right here in her hair. As we come around to the flowers, it's, it's a little bit right here. And then as you look at the piano, it's this line right here all going all the way across is that blue AB also up here, same thing. So this piano is full of this blue AB and all these lines. It's like straight um, line blocking. So it is all in the piano. And then as you look at the piano right here, it's running down because it's um, signifying water. It's just water running all over the piano right here. Um, it's going all across here. It's the blue AB. It's it's just pretty much all in this piano. Um, I don't see it. I'm down, you know, up in this area or nothing like that. Okay, so the last place that I see it is up here at the top up here. You can see it. I think we can now. It is literally this one running here and here. So that's the last of the blue AB. So the next one is two. And let's see where that two is. Well, let me just show you three because I see three. And I haven't seen two, so three is an orange AB, and it's in our fish. All in our fish is the three AB. All in our fish. So, all in the fish goes over here as well. Sorry, over here as well. All up through here. So, three AB is in the fish, and then let's go back to two AB. I saw a few in her dress, so. If you look at her dress, the 2AB is like here, all up through here, 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 um, 
trying to see is it any in her hair I mean the flowers in her hair no 2AB you don't see it let's look over here in this flower oh yep okay it's 2AB in this flower all up through here it's kind of dispersed around it's all up through here well, all right guys that is all the ABs and fair dust in this painting. Like I said, I think this painting is beautiful. Um, I have been wanting this painting. I'm not excited about the color blocking. And the funny thing is that when I start my paints, I start at the top left. So that um, all that color blocking is going to be what I'm going to be starting on first. So, And this year I am going to be doing a Yume Arts painting. Um, so I'm excited about that. I just haven't decided which one yet. But this one is a contender. Because she's big, but she's not just, well, she is kind of a woman. So let me not even try to psych myself out and saying she's not. Because <laughs> she is. <laughs> she is, and I know it. But she's just so beautiful. She really is. So, again, my inner sanctuary, you may art. One of my favorite artists. Um, I don't have all of her paintings, but I do have a lot of them. So, all right, guys. I will link this painting in the description box. Um, I do believe I, it may be out of stock, but I don't think it's discontinued. So, I'm going to link it in the um, description box, and you can sign up for the wait list if you're interested in this painting. Um, all right, guys. I would just like to thank everyone for taking the time out of the day to watch my video. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone is having a great day today, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.